Hello again. We're going to be using the conjugate, and basically this lesson uh, goes in kind of the family of rationalizing denominators. In fact, that's what it is. Uh, and basically what we have to keep in mind is this. Um, I remember I heard somebody say this is not true. It's like, oh, you know, somebody just... No, nobody just invented it. Uh, whenever we have a denominator, it always has to be a natural number. Not a whole number, not an integer, not an irrational number, etc. It always has to be a natural number of sorts. And the problem with this particular example is that uh, I have a 5, but I also have root 3, which is like 1.7 you know, something, I don't remember off the top of my head. And ba it's an irrational number. And basically, what it, uh, the problem is that I have an irrational number in the denominator that's not part of the laws of mathematics. So I have to get rid of it. Now, if it were just like a root 3, I would just multiply by the root 3 on both the top and the bottom of the denominator and uh, numerator, it would be fine. But it's got, this, uh, it's got two terms. Uh, now, in order to satisfy the condition of getting rid of it, of uh, simplifying my denominator, what I do is I multiply it by something called the conjugate. And the conjugate is basically whatever the denominator is, except its opposite sign. So it's 5 subtract rad 3, or root 3, or radical 3, or square root 3, whatever you want to call it. But what I do on the bottom of an expression, I have to do on the top. So I have to do that here. Now, the denominator turns out to be quite pleasant. The numerator, eh, not so much. Uh, let's see how we do it, though. So uh, let's do the numerator first. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times uh, negative square root 3 is negative 1 square root 3. I can't combine them. One's a, uh, uh, a natural number, the other is a root. Uh, subtracted by 5 root 3. And you want to put the numbers before the roots. It's just more proper to do that. Uh, negative times a negative is positive. Square root 3 times square root 3 is square root 9. Or if you're multiplying the same root inside each other, and it's the same uh, radicand sign as well, um, basically it's just the whole number inside, 3. So this is square root 3 times square root 3 is square root 9, square root 9 is 3, or you just say, oh, square root of a number times itself is just the number on the inside. Over, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times negative square root 3 is negative, and 5 root 3. 5 times positive square root 3 is 5 square root 3. And a positive times a negative is negative. Square root 3 times square root 3 is square root 9, or just 3. Let's simplify this. That'll be the most fun of all. Yay! <laughs> and so on and so forth. Let's add like terms. 5 plus 3 is 8. Negative 1 square root 3 subtracted 5 square root 3 is negative 6 square root 3. And you can't combine them because they're not like terms. One is a natural number, the other is a number with a radical. Over 25 minus 3 is 22. And negative 5 square root 3 plus 5 square root 3 is canceled out. And that's always going to happen. Now what's very interesting is this, there is one last step we have to account for, and you can actually simplify it further. What can you take out of this term, this 8, and this negative 6 square root 3? Now bear in mind, this is all one number actually, but you can take something out. What, what number do 8 and negative 6 have in common? It's a 2, and if I pull out a 2, then I've got 4 subtracted 3 square root 3 left. Base 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 square root 3. Somebody might ask this, well, why don't I take it out of the square root of 3? But I took it out of the negative 6 and I'm going to take it out of the square root of 3. It's actually all one number. Uh, it's 6 times whatever this is, 1.717, I don't know. But it's all one number, so you only just take it out of the term. Uh, you're, not taking it out of two, you're not taking it out of the same number twice. That doesn't make any sense. Over 22. Oh. 2 over 22 reduces. Becomes an 11. That's 4 subtracted 3 square root 3 over 11. Now basically it's pretty cool. It's using the conjugate. Uh, conjugate. I don't know if I actually did this example already, but eh, I might as well post up another one if I do. That's it. Hope that's helpful. Have a good day. Goodbye.